Model year 2019 is clearly the year of suspension. With the off-road industry launching dynamic controlled suspension technology, Yamaha snowmobiles have jumped in, offering Fox revolutionary IQS3 rider controlled shocks. Our test ride on this episode will cover the IQS3 system on the Sidewinder LTX LE, our favorite variant of the formidable turbocharged and intercooled 180 horsepower lake shredding Yamaha rocket. We could talk all day about the Sidewinder's 998 turbo engine. In fact, we've done that on a number of occasions. However, today we want to focus on the Sidewinder LE's amazing and unique suspension. Over the last number of years, we've seen a move to snowmobile suspensions, which are easier to adjust. Skidoo's remote tunnel mounted shock and spring adjusters and Polaris XC external shock system are examples. And as much as these efforts do make suspension tweaking easier, they don't allow the operator to make adjustments on the fly. This is where IQS3 changes the rules and opens the door on what's sure to be a revolution in adjustable and ultimately fully active suspension. Picture yourself honing your favorite section of trail. Up ahead, there's a square edge washout. You tap the IQS control with your left thumb, gas it, and level the crater without even standing up. Sounds crazy? It is crazy, but it's true. Let's talk about how this new ability to control your sled interfaces with you, the pilot. All Sidewinders for model year 19 get new handlebar switch gear, including the elimination of the awkward right side reverse button, now residing where it should be on the left switch gear set. The left cluster is slick, intuitive, and offers full digi gauge toggling while underway, as well as heat controls, headlamp beam, and of course, IQS3 toggling. There's no question Fox has set the standard for the industry with the popularity and acceptance of the simple soft, medium, hard QS3 shock system. For years, snowmobiles have only had three primary rider controls, steering, throttle, and brake. For model year 19, Yamaha has added a fourth rider control, which after using, you will positively never go back to three. IQS3 is industry altering stuff. We're standing and applauding Yamaha for bringing it to the market. Let's talk about the other changes to the LTX LE for model year 2019. There's a lot more going on than just IQS3 making this sled so appealing. Yamaha has improved the haze brake and added a composite stubby lever that's more ergo correct and frankly, not as cold as cast aluminum. They've improved the tunnel bag and kept the heated seat and visor cord outlet for which we are standing and applauding. There are now real back tires on the Sidewinder and again, we heartily approve. Gone is the barrel style rear idler set. It is our solemn conviction snowmobiles should have rear tires. Let's get something straight. This is not a windshield. It is not a windshield at the equator, nor is it a windshield anywhere where we ride snowmobiles. Make sure you pick up a mid-height version before you leave your dealer. The LTX versions of Yamaha's sleds have always been among the best riding models in their lineup. The slide action 137 inch skid, bridges moguls, and the uncoupled movement produced by the floating front torque arm has been reasonably effective until now. The addition of the IQS3 system makes the new LTX LE one of the best riding sleds in the biz. Couple the ginormous improvement in ride quality and the reality that the LE possesses the industry's most powerful engine, and you have a powerful argument for showroom sizzle in model year 2019. We need to take our helmets off and salute Yamaha for the move to new overdrive clutches with a roller cam secondary last season. The Sidewinder is easy on belts and produces back shifts which are nothing short of heroic, throwing you back on the seat and yanking the skis off the snow at ridiculous speeds. Truth is, the Sidewinder package as a complete snowmobile has proven tough, reliable, and pretty efficient considering there's 180 hungry horses under the hood. There's a lot to like this year in the new LTX LE. However, we're confident that the new Fox IQS3 system is going to be both the stake and the sizzle in Yamaha showrooms.
It's pretty cool Yamaha has come to the snowmo biz in model year 19 with the sport's first rider activated suspension system. Model year 19 is going to mark the point in time when snowmobiles made a huge leap ahead in high tech suspension control. So all that's left to be done is to add a yaw sensor and speed sensors to the IQS3 shock system with a setting called auto ride and instantly fully active suspension will be a reality. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the like button and then subscribe to Snowtracks TV's YouTube channel that's constantly being updated with fresh content.